I've got a little game rented here from Gamefly that I pretty much rented just for the purpose of recording a little, uh, a little video for. How about some Hollywood Squares on the Wii? I've not played it on the Wii, so let's see how uh, the menus are and everything. Um, I'm a fan of uh, game show games. Of course, there's a lot of them out there that are kind of eh. They're not necessarily good or whatever, but... But since it's just a rental, why not? Let's give it a try. Big CBS logo. Do 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 do. -do. Come on, let me get to the start. Here we go. Now I can start. Now loading. <laughs> Oh, let's see here. What's this guy look like? Neat. I like his attire more. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a a jeans person with holes necessarily, but it's kind of close to what I'd wear. You know, I just wear basically t-shirts and stuff like that. So we'll just go with this guy. Option sound effect. Well, since they're uh, you know record, recording it here on the Hop Pog Rocket, I figure I'll turn all this up because you'll probably barely hear it anyway. Uh, good. We'll go single player, and it looks like it's set up like most of these other games by Ludia are, where they just have preset like games to play or whatever. Tammy loves the roller disco, but recently hurt her ankle during a particularly groovy song. She needs money to pay her medical bill to get back on the track. Well, I intend to win the money, and you go home with nothing. How about that? <laughs> and, of course, loading. <clears throat> of course, this is one of those game shows where... Oh, Brad Garrett in middle square. Brad Garrett. Today's players are. The rules are simple. I guess everyone else is just a made up person. The star in the square question. The star in the square will answer the question. Yeah, this is one of those game shows where. I mean, if you have knowledge about stuff, yeah, you, you might have a little advantage. But since every question, you just agree or disagree, it's kind of a 50 50 thing. You win the round if you manage to um, three squares. It's kind of a luck thing. It's kind of like that match game game show. You know, same kind of thing where you fill in the blank, and obviously, if you're. Kind of creative minded, or if you know, like when they reference a celebrity in the in the match game question, the then you come up with an answer that kind of relates to that wrong. name that you use. But it's still kind of a luck thing because you never know what the celebrities round. are going to say. So well, let's see how this goes. Oh, this is me. Okay, I want center square. Brad Garrett. Oh, wow. You have a flushed face, sweaty palms, racing heart, fast breathing, and slight tingling in the hands and feet. What does Dr. Joyce Brothers say they're symptoms of? You had the shrimp appetizers at a mobile station. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it sounds like a, um, uh, an anxiety attack. Do you think that's a bluff? Anxiety. Agree Lucky or face, disagree? Sweaty palm. I'll go with it. You don't get the square. So oh, the square circle. Sid. Oh, sorry, you're wrong. X, oh, select we don't the get square. the question or anything yeah. from the computer. Well, that, that speeds the game along anyway. So, yeah, let me... Uh, Courtney. Let me go down here. In Greek mythology, where were the major gods believed to live? What's your choice? Yellow. No. They lived on Olympus. <laughs> nice I might work. not have known the answer was Olympus, but Where do you obviously want to play, it wasn't Circle? Delaware. Carol for the block. 
You're correct. Ah, oh, screw Next, you. pick your square. Okay, let's Donna, go to Donna for the block. For the block. What happens to the gang at the end of Seinfeld? Do you agree or do you disagree? Nothing. You know, since it, it's the show about nothing, at maybe it is Seinfeld. Nothing. They all go to jail. Really? You're incorrect. Damn it. Circle, your turn to choose a square. Donna I never watched Seinfeld. I mean, I've seen a couple episodes, but it was it's one of those shows. Circle that, gets the square, like, ah, wins the round, and one thousand. I might be in the minority, but I just really all, didn't but care. You can for still Seinfeld. win this game if you try. Round two is on the way. All right, round two. Where are you gonna play, X? I get to start again. Brad yeah, let's Garrett. go to Brad Garrett. Let's get a live clip. Voice researchers at Wake Forest University found that most people think this celebrity has the best voice in America. Who is it? Well, I know the loudest voice is Larry King Live, everybody! <laughs> Saskatchewan, hello! <laughs> A little annoying. I was listening to Larry the other night, didn't even have the TV on. <laughs> Kokomo, Indiana, what's the question? Osama, why the turban? You know, I think the, the greatest voice in the business is James Earl Jones on CNN. Ooh, ooh. What's your choice? No. Oops. no God damn it. Make a square circle. Sid. I was thinking it was going to be some other name that was going to be a little more popular. Some Wrong name. choice. X, pick your square. Uh, okay. Let's go with Carol. Carol. What reality TV show debuting in 2004 featured Donald oh Trump? Oh, my God. Perfect. Yes, it's The Apprentice. The show was The Apprentice. And that should have been correct. about as far as he got. Circle, oh, your turn God. to choose a square. Courtney Worst president this block. country has ever had. Anyway. Oh, sorry, you're wrong. Oh, I get a Select chance to win. Come on, Courtney. Courtney. for the win. Where is Bon Jovi from? I, I, I think Do I you know agree this in the back of my mind. I, I think dance. that's right. Bon Jovi's from New Jersey. Yeah! Woohoo! Gets the square, wins the round, and $1,000. One round down, one round to go. I wouldn't Good have luck. been able to tell you the answer, but when I saw New Jersey, I, I just went, that sounds right. Round. Where do you want to go, X? I always get to pick first. Okay, Brad fine. Garrett. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, exactly. Look at all of us, She's by the way. <laughs> Brad, although two-thirds of the Earth's surface is covered with water, only 1% of the water is what? Being retained by my Aunt Selma. <laughs> because I have to tell you, I'm really just big boned. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I would say 1% of the water is, is probably fresh water. Make your choice. Agree or disagree. That's what I was actually thinking. You lose that square. Oh. Which square do you want, Reasonable. Circle? Sid. Wow. I was thinking fresh, so when he said fresh, I was like, You're yeah, that's, oh, no. Where are oh, you gonna no. Play? Circle's X. got the big advantage Alexis now. for the block. The lead male character in the 2008 movie Twilight is played by whom? How do you want to weigh in on this? No. Um, disagree. Robert Pattinson. I'll know that. Ro okay, Robert Pattinson. You it was one of the. It was another one of those questions where I'd know the name when I saw it, but Brian. I wouldn't have been able to tell you the name if I had to come up with it on my own. Right, you are. Son of a bitch. The board is yours, X. Oh man, I'm. I'm Emily for the block. I'm reeling here. Who was Gotham City's clown prince? The Joker. What do you say? Agree Bozo. or disagree? <laughs> Bozo. Nah, I don't think so. The Joker. It's the Joker. Yes, you got it right. <clears throat> right on. Select a square now. Carol. Oh, please get this wrong. Please, please, please get this wrong. Sorry. Woohoo! X's turn now. Donna. Come on. Now nah, I got to get this right. So I have a double Mariah chance. Carey married what rapper and former teen star? Do you know the answer? Yeah. Yeah. She married Nick Cannon. 
Yes. Yes, you got it right. And they, uh, I believe circle. they since divorced too, Michael haven't they? for the block. Oops, no good. Where do you want to go? Ex? Okay, yeah, fine. I'll go with Michael, Michael for, the, for win. the win. Who did actor Ben Affleck get engaged to in 2002? How do you feel about that answer? Who the hell is Kara Alt? I'm going to disagree. He got engaged to Jennifer Lopez. Yes. X gets the square, wins the round, and a thousand dollars. You're headed to the I would not have known that answer. You've won. I'm not sure if Jennifer Lopez was the answer given. I'm not sure necessarily if I would have. Uh, ask each celebrity a question. We'll go through all or not. nine celebrities in order. As usual, you'll either agree or disagree with their answers. You have a limited amount of time to go through all the celebrities' answers. If you look over there, you'll see nine keys. The grand prize is hidden inside this chest. Only one of the keys is able to unlock the chest. Each time you correctly agree or disagree with the star, we'll remove one of the wrong keys. After you've gone through all the stars, you'll have to pick the key you believe will open the chest. What does the rating E stand for when a video game is playable for all ages? Do you know the answer? E, everyone, yes. You're right. Good. The show CSI Crime Scene Investigation premiered on which TV network? Oh my god, I have Green no idea, but that sounds, that sounds right. Yes. Right. Jennifer Hudson got her national start on what TV show? Jennifer what Hudson, wasn't that Agreed Price is Right, my ass? Wasn't an American Idol? Good choice. Which pop princess had a two-day marriage to her best friend Jason Alexander in 2004? Are they bluffing, or do you agree? I don't know. I'll just agree for the hell of it. Unfortunately, no. Damn. Despite being its most famous song, Somewhere Over the Rainbow was nearly cut from what film? Wizard of Oz. Give us your verdict. You got it. What type of animal is a tarantula? A spider. Arachnid. Give us your verdict. A mammal. You're right. In the 2006 movie Curious George, who is the voice for the man in the yellow hat? Oh That's my god. Agree or disagree? This is just completely random. Got it. Yeah. If you need help, who can you call by picking up a toy telephone at the Pokey Oaks Oak 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 kindergarten? kindergarten? Will you agree or disagree? No, I, I think that's completely wrong. That's your square. I don't know who it is. Where is but... the United Nations headquarters? Let's get a pick. I'm out of time. Seven good answers. So seven keys come on. All right, now select a key. Meeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's see if you pick the correct key. Yes, you've got the correct key. Well done. Congratulations. See you next time. What did I win? Hollywood Square. I won money, apparently. I want a new wardrobe item. Ooh, isn't that special? Well, this, this game seems... I mean, it, it's kind of bare bones. But uh, it's pretty true to the original, I guess. Oh, does this mean on different successive weeks there'll be different uh, center squares, maybe? This is this week right here, and I'm playing week one. I don't know. Let's keep going. Todd currently lives in a treehouse in his parents' backyard. He's able to win so he can bring running water to his humble boat. <laughs> wow, where'd they come up with that? Well, so for those of you watching this video, how did you do in that first game compared to my answer? Did you agree or disagree more often than not? See what'll happen this Allow time. me to present your center square. Brad Garrett. <clears throat> Let's meet today's contestants. The rules are simple. You'll pick a square. I'll okay, let's skip. Yep. Round one. Select a square. Go for the Garrett. middle. Brad, what was the only event in the very first ancient Olympics? An ancient Greek game called Haida Slovaki. <laughs> uh, I, I believe it was wrestling. Yeah, that's, that's what I was bluff. thinking. 
I was thinking Agree wrestling. or just no. No. Foot, foot race, go, really? Courtney. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give the video a like. Feel free to comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe so you'll always know when new videos have been uploaded. Have a good one.